Miskryers verrig definitief nie die meest elegante taak in die dierenrijk nie, maar dis een belangrike deel van die voortbestaan van een gezonde ecologie. So big seeds they'll pick out of the dung because they don't want gnats, but small seeds they will then trundle away. And what they're doing is that they're burying it in a really nice place for the seed to germinate. So as long as they don't bury it too deep, then they're putting it underground where it's safe. They're putting it in with a whole load of fertilizer. Um, and they're also putting it in a place where there's moisture. And often then see, um, dung beetles are very important seed dispersers. Burnsea in South Africa alone is there hundreds of different species. You know, most people when they go to the Kruger, they say they saw an elephant, a rhino and a dung beetle. Well, you've only seen a tiny portion of the total dung beetle fauna. In South Africa, we've got 800 species. In Africa, we've got about 2,000. And worldwide, we've got 6,000. Men mense weet dat die miskryer en die olifant redelijk baie gemeen het. Albei sy die eet het byvoorbeeld een laafvoedingswaarde en hulle is goeie ouwers. The big guys that we see rolling the balls, the, you know, the superstars, they generally produce one egg in each ball. So the female buries the ball first, puts one egg in it, and then she sits with that ball underground until the new adult emerges from that ball. So that could take three months. If it's a dry year, it could take six months. So, and because they're not active in the winter, then she might produce one offspring per year. And if she lives for three years, that means she, at the most, she can produce three offspring. Gerard Pretorius, Ian Nies, Limpopo. See, that's why they did it so many times.